Um, so the key figures in terms of permaculture, well, there's a few now, but uh, as mentioned before, Dave, um, Bill Mollison. Um, that video, by the way, um, uh, Wes, just to correct you, is called In Grave Danger of Falling Food. Yeah. Um, and yes, uh, you'll enjoy that Australian story. Um, Bill, Bill was discussing, I think, um, his relationship with his mother, which, is <laughs> which wasn't too good. <laughs> anyway. Um, now, um, so Bill and David got together and did the, did the permaculture thing in the 1970s. Um, but of course, a lot of that was um, founded by, as a lot of this stuff is, is a process of what you would call incremental design. And, um, you know, people like P.A. Yeomans um, was one of those who coined the, the terms or used the terms permanent agriculture well before permaculture came along. Your own J. Russell Smith in 1927 wrote a book called Tree Crops of Permanent Agriculture, which was one of my favourite, all-time all favourite books. Um, and I use it all the time still today. Um, but this bloke here, um, P.A. Yeomans, Percival Alfred Yeomans, he was just known as P.A. for obvious reasons. Um, he, uh, he was a uh, mining geologist and he observed um, peculiar landscape features and also as a miner as well, um, any, anybody who's involved in mining um, understands how to use water, how to harvest water because in a lot of places where you're, uh, well in most places where you're mining you use a lot of water to wash the ore away and you've got all the tailings, ponds and uh, you've got to harvest it and often in Australia these landscapes are out in the middle of, as I would say, whoop whoop, out in the middle of nowhere. So there's no water, and uh, the water that we've got underground, we've got a lot of underground water like you do here in the United States, but it's all salty. So to use that in a mining environment um, would only increase the, uh, the environmental uh, damage that mining already does. So, um, so you have to harvest the water that actually falls on the landscape. It's called rainwater. Um, <laughs> and, um, I laugh because um, you guys have just not even got close to, to capitalising on the amount of rain that actually hits this roof called America. Um, it's quite unfathomable. Um, well, what's, what's really unfathomable is that, you know, we were out in the Kiama River Valley the other week uh, doing a permaculture course and they're down to 1,400 feet, pulling water up from that deep. And it's getting saltier and it's getting more expensive and... Um, and that's just to water your organic carrots. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, real organic. Um, anyway, so this bloke uh, really understood water harvesting and uh, moved it into his, um, into his far he became a farmer and, um, and uh, developed his system for rapid soil, uh, topsoil development. Um, based on another um, American called uh, Louis Bromfield, some of you might be aware of. Louis Bromfield wrote books back in the 40s and 50s. Malabar Farm was the most, uh, most well-known. He could have been your, I think he was on Adelaide Stevenson's ticket um, in the 1950s. He could have been your Secretary of Agriculture. <laughs> Isn't it funny? Um, <laughs> A soil builder <laughs> becoming your minister for agriculture. Yeah, that would have been interesting. I wouldn't be here. Yeah. Um, and we had the rainwater harvesting and gravity irrigation system and also integrated farm layouts based on the farm's topography. So respecting the land's patterns and then developing them accordingly. Pretty interesting stuff. Now, just to give you a bit of background, I've been um, mucking around with uh, the key line plough for a long time. Um, and I do all sorts of weird and wonderful things with this machine. I push that yield envelope and try and achieve multiple functions from every element, um, including uh, like this machine. This is one of my latest things down here, planting 5,000 plants per hour into, into pasture, um, just for fun. Um, also, this sort of thing, where we're, uh, where we're um, doing the, uh, putting in, uh, injecting um, 
pipe into the ground so that we can uh, gravity irrigate um, plants uh, and overcome the vagaries of climate. Um, that works pretty well. Um, and uh, we ended up getting a plough sent out here by the Yeomans Plough Company. Um, this, is, this is up at Gunner's Place at Aurelia Ranch, um, just up the road here. Not a bad place to plough. That's why I'm turned around this way, because if you turn around the other way, you're watching the dolphins go by and all the waves. And the <laughs> Gunner's never there because he's always catching a break. And <laughs> That's why I'm doing all the work. <laughs> no, we're, we're having a bit of fun there. Gunner was there all the time. I had to, I had to pull him kicking and screaming out of the tractor seat to uh, do this bit of ploughing. Not a bad spot. But this is the latest expression of the key line plough. It's a pretty nice machine. Um, and that's um, now living on a property up in, uh, up in Marin County, um, doing a bit of work. And uh, we've got a plough down here as well that we'll be doing a bit of work with on the weekend.